Chilling allegations have been aired in state parliament. A staff member was stood down from Ashley Youth Detention Centre last week, their Working with Vulnerable People card revoked. There are hundreds of allegations made against this person, including one of rape. I'm just not able to comment here on allegations that may be the subject of legal or police proceedings at this stage, Madam Speaker. The minister later confirmed in a statement three people have been stood down over historical allegations. Bath police haven't received a formal complaint. Instead, they're assisting Communities Tasmania with an internal investigation. Look, it's really unclear as to what involvement uh, Tasmania police have into these investigations at the moment. I can reassure the House um, and, uh, and anyone listening or reading this that the Department of Communities Tasmania does take all allegations uh, of abuse against children and young people very seriously. We're talking here about some of Tasmania's most at-risk young people. And right now there are questions about whether or not they are safe. There are other questions too. We don't know, we don't have the information to tell us when these alleged incidents and the alleged rape took place. We don't know when it was first brought to the attention of government. Lawyer Sebastian Bashimi represents some former Ashley residents. The department were made aware by myself in August, September about allegations around a number of staff, more than three. He says those allegations relate to misconduct, all serious, some extremely so. There's one member of staff who I'm aware um, had raped the child um, that was known to management at the centre in the late 90s, who remained at the centre up until potentially recently. In 2016, consultants recommended Ashley be shut down. Instead, the government's investing in a redevelopment.